yes after this github video you will be able to flex your github profile so first you need to clone this website so copy the url now let's create a, a git fitty directory change it to git fitty directory git clone once we you have cloned it you need to run python let me let me full screen it once you have cloned you need to uh, go to the directory and run the python github fitty library so to run this you need to type python git fitty or py enter github user uh, url so leave it blank there enter your github username so you need to add your github username that is your username so mine is gitchit once done enter the name of the repository to use by gitfitty so you need to create a new repository so that it could be used by gitfitty so in the previous video i have already tell you how to create a new repository so we will quickly create a repository uh, Art. So it creates, we have quickly create uh, our repository. We will copy the name and add this to it. Enter the number of the weeks to be left from the offset. So we will leave it type 4. Any other input will be matching. You need to just leave it blank. Leave it blank. Next, you have to add the image name to be used by Gitfitty. So, we will use a random one that is, let's take one up. So, we will, so we are in Windows, so we are going to use PowerShell. So, we are, will add PowerShell. Okay, so here you have, uh, you could see that the GitHub uh, PowerShell console, uh, command line have been created and we are going to use this. Once the PowerShell script is created, we need to use this command to run this. Remember, you need to add those flags because if you won't add, the script won't run in Windows. So once done, you need to press enter. It will initialize and it will directly abuse the GitHub history to create those art. So you need to wait for a few seconds. So what it does it it creates a large number of commits to the same repository and if you come to your repository here you could see all the commits and if you want to remove it you just need to delete the repository that you have created with this i hope you like this video and i will see you on to the next one